Hey guys, it's me Soda here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a video on five fun x level facts. Now I talk about x levels a lot on my channel. I've made so many videos on them. I have a whole playlist of x level videos if you want to learn more. If you want to learn more of like caring for an x level, you can go check out those videos. But today we're going to just talk about some like really cool facts because x levels are one of the most interesting animals I think in the world. You may know already they have some very cool abilities that no other animals have. So let's talk about it today. And the clips you'll see in these videos will be my two axolotls. Toothless is the one here. She's my oldest rescue. And then we have Petunia who is my newest rescue. You'll be seeing my two beauties throughout the video. <laughs> now for number one I'm gonna start with the kind of more obvious one that I feel like most people know if you've looked you know into axolotls a little bit but some people might not know and that is axolotls and their ability to regenerate parts of their body. Now there are different types of like animals and salamanders that can regenerate you know some parts of their bodies. Even us humans we can technically regenerate parts of our skin I guess you can call it that but we can't grow our limbs back we can't grow our organs back but axolotls can they can regenerate whole limbs arms and legs if they're bitten off by predators they can grow back and even their organs can grow back and even more amazingly parts of their brain which is just something that you, like should be impossible but x littles they can do it and they can do this for their whole life you know some animals might be able to regenerate parts of their body as babies but will lose their ability when they become adults but x littles they can do it throughout their whole life although a lot of x littles can actually lose their ability to regenerate parts of their body some sources say that if their limb is bitten off enough times it will stop growing back but also some x littles might just get unlucky and not have the ability to regenerate anything so Sometimes with age, their regeneration ability can not work as well. For example, my ex old Toothless, she's quite old. She's had a damaged tail since I got her. It's never grown back. And also sometimes ex littles their limbs can grow back a bit deformed. Potentially this could also be due to uh, the bad breeding of ex littles Unfortunately, ex littles these days in captivity are very inbred and have poor genetics because of that. So potentially that can affect their regeneration ability and cause their limbs not to grow back as well as they would originally if they weren't bred poorly. For example, Petunia, my other ex little she has a very deformed hand. She was like that when I got her. Not sure if that's from it growing back like that or potentially she could be born with it like that also from inbreeding which does happen a lot unfortunately but still their regeneration ability is incredible and still to this day scientists are still studying it because we hope to one day somehow be able to use that research to give us that ability but yeah it's an amazing ability unfortunately though i have seen people um purposely cut off their axolotl's limbs to watch them regrow which is just insanity. So keep in mind, just because they can regrow their limbs doesn't mean they don't feel pain. I feel like I just have to say that because unfortunately a lot of people don't realize that. So yeah, they still feel pain. It still is a very painful thing for them to go through. Losing a limb is painful, believe it or not. But usually x lose their limbs from predators or siblings often x like baby x will eat each other's limbs because they have poor eyesight and just want to bite everything so that often happens. Fact number two, axolotls are only native to one lake in Mexico so you can only find axolotls in the wild in one area but that's only if you can find them. That lake is called Lake Xochimilco. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. This was once a very large lake that surrounded other lakes. Unfortunately though it has become smaller over the years due to like you know population of people increasing and it has become very polluted so unfortunately it's not very common to find them anymore but keep in mind if you see those youtubers who make videos capturing wild axolotls in like Florida they're not catching axolotls. Those videos are fake. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've seen a lot of people making those videos pretending to catch axolotls, but really they're just faking the videos and putting axolotls through stress pretending to catch them, or they might be capturing a different salamander that looks like an axolotl. And for number three, the f not so fun fact, but it is an important fact, axolotls are unfortunately critically endangered. Unfortunately, we don't actually know how much left there are in the wild, but it's guessed to be less than a hundred which is really awful because there used to be 
thousands of axolotls, but due to pollution, loss of habitat, invasive fish being put in the water, people did used to hunt them to eat them as well, and also because of dangerous algae in the lake. All of this combined has caused their population to decrease dramatically, and we don't know currently how many are left in the wild. It was actually guessed that they would be extinct by 2020. Thankfully they're not extinct yet, but unfortunately that is a very high possibility to happen soon. Now, thankfully, axolotls do thrive in captivity. My axolotls are, of course, captive bred. All axolotls that you see at pet stores are captive bred. They're not from the wild. They do breed very well in captivity. There's millions of them in captivity, but in the wild, just because of all, you know, all the stuff I said combined, it's very hard for them to thrive, which is really unfortunate, and I really hope a miracle happens and we can save them and they can you know thrive one day again in their you know a natural environment where they come from but unfortunately it's just really unlikely number four axolotls are neotenic which means they live permanently in their juvenile form so you may or may not know axolotls actually look very similar to many different types of salamanders but those salamanders do eventually grow up and change into like a different looking animal but in their juvenile form a lot of salamanders look like pretty much identical to axolotls. For example, I have firebelly newts, these cute little guys, love them so much, and when they were babies, they looked just like baby axolotls. But eventually they grew up and went through metamorphosis where they lost their external gills, those fluffy gills that axolotls have, they are their external gills, they absorb those and then they come out of water and they can breathe out of water. Axolotls don't naturally go through this. They stay in their juvenile stage for their whole life and reach adulthood looking like a juvenile. However, there are rare like situations where they can actually go through metamorphosis. Now again, I have a whole video on this because it is quite an interesting subject, but basically to sum it down, sometimes if axolotls are fed a diet with high thyroid, they can actually go through metamorphosis and morph into a salamander. However, it's actually not recommended to feed them food with high th thyroid. That food isn't actually good for them. And if they do go through metamorphosis this way, it usually really cuts down their lifespan and they don't live very long afterwards. So it's never recommended that you ever like do this with your axolotl and intentionally. They can also go through metamorphosis as a survival tactic if they're forced to live out of water, which again, obviously not recommended. It's a very painful process for them to go through, very stressful, very cruel, but it can happen. Um, as well as just really poor water quality, it can happen. It's just a survival tactic, you know, which is kind of an insane survival tactic, changing your whole, you know, body. Imagine if we did that. Instead of drowning, we just like evolved into a sea creature that would be kind of sick yeah that can happen sometimes they also could just die instead but sometimes they can go through metamorphosis as a way to protect themselves but don't live very long but also occasionally it can happen just randomly part of it is because axolotls were crossbred with tiger salamanders and tiger salamanders do naturally go through metamorphosis so that has caused that gene to pass on to a lot of captive bred axolotls so sometimes people will just have an axolotl they'll be taking care of it like normally and fine and they're healthy and then randomly they just start going through metamorphosis that has happened it is very rare so it's not something you need to worry about because it's very unlikely to happen to you but it has happened a couple of times you can see some people online that it's happened to but it is very rare but it is really fascinating but we don't have any evidence of this ever happening in the wild so it might just be a thing that happens to captive bred axolotls we don't know and for our last fun fact today number five is that axolotls can come in a very large amount of different colors. Now again, I have actually made a whole video on this, kind of. I made an axolotl tier list video where I ranked all the different axolotl morphs. Actually, I did miss a few. There's actually like way more than I thought. It's actually kind of hard to find all the different types of morphs because there's so many, and some of them are just ones that like one person has bred. But yeah, I did make a video where I ranked them all for fun. But yeah, there's a massive range of different colored axolotls you can get. However, a lot of these, especially the more like really interesting ones, are like very rare very expensive some of them are literally one of a kind and also you don't see these kind of axolotls in the wild the only ones you really see in the wild well when you did see them in the wild sorry uh were the wild type axolotls they're called wild type because they 
a, you know, what X Lottles naturally would look like. In the wire, it would, it would just be the black X Lottles or sometimes different shades of brown or, or stuff like that because, you know, it matches with the environment. Unfortunately, we don't know if they ever found albino axolotls in the wild. I'm sure there has been though because most animals can just randomly be albino. Unfortunately, they never really live as long though because they really stand out and easily get eaten by predators. I feel like the albino axolotl and the leucistic axolotl is the most like you see, like most people when they think of axolotl, they think of the pink axolotl. But actually, that's not the one that you would find in the wild. It would be the wild type axolotl. Albino axolotl started in captivity due to again crossbreeding with like albino tiger salamanders. Some of the different color variations you see are like from people who have intentionally tried to breed these different colors. Some of them are just accidents where people will breed like an albino and a wild type and they might end up with like piebalds which is quite rare but it happens. So there's like the more common kind of variation of axolotls you see and then there's like some super rare ones. Some of these like really rare ones can even cost thousands of dollars because some of them are just like accidents. Some of these like the firefly axolotls are actually not natural morphs. Firefly axolotls are created by two different axolotls being modified when they were still in their embryo. You can even get fluoro green axolotls which are done by the axolotl embryo being injected with jellyfish DNA which originally was done from scientists to study the regeneration of axolotls and then those axolotls were bred so the babies still carried the glow gene and we still have glow axolotls Axolotls today is what they call them. Personally not a huge fan of those ones, but some people like them. So yeah, those are my five Axolotl fun facts today. Now there's so many more Axolotl facts. Like I said, I have more Axolotl videos if you want to learn even more about them. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you want me to make more of these on different animals. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!